Yes, hello. Um, in fact, I'm very happy to talk about cinema with you, about Renault. Renault is involved in a cinema partnership since more than 30 years with Cannes Festival. And it's really interesting to, to notice that more and more every year, the presence of automotive industry is really important because we can give to Renault brand a touch of glamour. And it's really important today because a new car, new design, and uh, I think our target, our customer, first are ladies. So ladies, they like glamour, they like nice ladies, wear clothes, uh, Chanel and Hermes and all the Dior uh, clothes. And I think it's very important for us to link the brand to luxury, glamour and uh, celebrities in the cinema. So typically, what will you do in Cannes? Uh... Actually, Cannes for us, it's a kind of platform. It's really interesting because we can invite our, our big customer. For example, we invite all the bankers, financial uh, contact, uh, all the guy in charge of fleet in all our um, uh, big entities. And uh, we invite media, stakeholder and VIP. So basically, they, you invite them to watch film and walk up the red carpet? Yeah, generally we, we offer to each customer a kind of a 24 hours of a red carpet and some uh, uh, glam uh, moment they can spend together with their wife or companion. And it's really interesting because we take opportunities to transport them with Renault car. Renault is the official partner, automotive partner of Cannes Festival. So all the celebrities, the jury, is transported by the new model of Renault, electric vehicle or thermic vehicle. But uh, it's a, a good way to show our lineup or the product and uh, all our other partners like Air France, Orange, Hewlett Packard, L'Oréal, the transport all the celebrities and all their uh, VIP in our cars. So, and do you, uh, when in Cannes, how do you communicate to your, uh, to your um, targets, to your uh, sales force, and whatever you're doing? During a festival of Cannes, uh, we start with internal communication, uh, with uh, social media, YouTube, and uh, and other, uh, Twitter. We invite bloggers on the Cannes Festival. We have our internal team of communication uh, coming and making some interviews and uh, photo shooting of all the event. So it's a strong investment in terms of communication, internal, external. We send every day to our communicant in each country, each region of the world. So the Renault India, Renault Russia, Renault Korea. They receive everyday information, video and picture they can use for their internal uh, communication. And what's the most important for you? Is it that you see Brad Pitt coming out of the car or? I think it's very important for Renault uh, to receive a kind of pride, you know. I think that internally, perhaps it's more important internally to show to all the Renault colleagues and employees that Brad Pitt or Georges Clooney or Nicole Kidman, they like to be transported in a Renault. Renault is so fashion, it's not a German car, but it can be really fashionable. And uh, actually, I think it's very important to, to give more pride and uh, um, some input internally to all our colleagues. But externally, it's very interesting too because uh, with 5,000 media coming to Cannes, it's obvious that we show and we see our cars and the Renault logo and the Renault brand everywhere in Cannes. So it's very important. And generally, Cannes is just close to the Monaco GP, Formula One GP. So we can link and bring gathering together all the celebrities, Formula One and cinema. So for Renault, it's a big event, a big moment for us. And is there, uh, are there, how would you say, uh, feedback of this strategy into the consumer? Uh, just a simple, stupid question. Is there a uh, festival, uh, Laguna, or whatever? Uh, yeah, we, we were asked by some countries uh, to prepare a limited edition. Yeah. Can 
Cannes Festival limited edition with a golden palm. Yeah. Uh, so it's really possible to get very soon a Renault in China with a Cannes Festival. We we can buy the the, the right to do that, and we have a demand in South America too to get, to get that kind of uh, model. So it could be really possible to realize it. And do you do? Uh campaigns to recruit bloggers for Cannes, come to Cannes and film Renault uh, in Cannes. Do you do that, for instance, to a general audience? Internally, we, we organized uh, last year a um, kind of a contest with young uh, guys and young girls for scenario. We asked them to put the new Twingo in a scenario around cinema. And uh, we invite, during the Cannes Festival, uh, the, the winners, two, two winners, came to Cannes Festival to spend two days with us and uh, it was really interesting so we, we tried to organize with bloggers and uh, a lot of uh, uh, young and dynamic uh, um, creators to, to think how Renault can be perceived and how can Renault be a, a real partner in cinema. For example, actually with a marketing department we have uh, uh, presence of Renault we, within 40 uh, movies every year. So we have a fleet of cars like the last Terry Gilliam, Zero Theorem, with a 40 Twizy, you know, the electric uh, zero emission uh, quadricycle, so with a Twizy. And it's very important for us to be more and more present because we have a new range actually, we have pickup coming, 4x4, crossover sedan, small car, electric car, so we can be really present in all of kind of movie. But in the second thing very important for us is to show to our colleagues everywhere in the world that Renault can be a real actor. So in India for Bollywood for example or in America, in South America and Russia, Renault can uh, play a role in the cinema. So I think the, uh, my strategy to develop this uh, partnership with the festival is to show that Renault is a big player and uh, people they can come to us and to, to talk what we can do for the future. Sure, next time you consider recruiting young talent, use filmfestivals.com because that's the essence of uh, what we do and why we do our website. Can you tell us a little bit about the other festivals that you are covering, uh, that you are helping and partnering with? When I joined Renault two years ago, uh, Renault was only partner of Cannes and Lyon Lumière Festival mm -hmm. plus Deauville, American Film Festival. So now we forward uh, a, a little bit our strategy. We're still in France with uh, L'Alpe d'Huez for the film The Comedy. We are in uh, Angoulême with Dominique Besnea for a film about francophonie. With Cabour is a festival du film romantique. But we talk now about San Sebastian, we have Marrakesh Film Festival, it's very important. And uh, this year we signed for La Mostra. So La Mostra is the biggest, after kind of the biggest event for us. It was the first year, it was really interesting. And uh, so little by little I would like to build and consolidate our presence through the world. Why not in Toronto, why not in Mumbai, why not in St. Petersburg, you know, little by little. Renault can establish a presence and a platform uh, around cinema and all the opportunities we can build together. What would be the biggest uh, market that uh, would be interesting for, for Renault? Actually, uh, half of the benefits for Renault sales are coming from France, French market. But uh, we can say the most interesting opportunity for us should be China. We are going to open a new factory, a new plant in Wuhan. And I think China, Chinese market and uh, all the uh, extreme Orient market like Indonesia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Australia is really important for us. So uh, with the new models coming for Y4 crossover pickup, we can uh, uh, reinforce our presence in these markets. Okay, uh, you, you, you mentioned about the strategy to how to you link film and, and the brand. Uh, um, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Actually, uh, our communication is uh, not only PR. Uh, we 
start a communication with advertisement and promotion. So for example, around Cannes Festival, we use some media like Paris Match or Gala, weekly magazine, and uh, we create a kind of partnership to explain what is the role and why Renault is playing with cinemas since more than one century. So we explain little by little the reason and the effect, the benefits of the partnership with cinema. So it's not only a question of brand image, it's directly linked to the sales. And maybe that would be the last question. Uh, sorry if it's a kind of a comparison. What do you think of uh, uh, what uh, Audi, for instance, or BMW and Mercedes are doing towards film? Actually, I think the German brands are really consistent because they invest a lot of money uh, with a uh, blockbuster, we can say. Not, I remember uh, perhaps some uh, science fiction uh, movie. But uh, to, we are the first in terms of ZE, in zero emission vehicle. We have a, a full range of uh, vehicle and I think we can play on a really ecological products. The Americans, they love our, our products. They prefer to, to drive and to be transported in an uh, electric car than in a very luxury sedan. Yeah. I think everybody now, they are not fed up, but we have big limousine, we have a private flight, a private jet. So I think the most important is not only luxury, is how to be serious and uh, about our universe. <laughs> yeah, and perhaps, yeah, avoid uh, pollution, uh, to be very serious and uh, a mind, a conscious of mind. Have you considered uh, uh, working with uh, festivals that devote their, their lineup to uh, ecological? Uh, uh, we are looking for that. I think it could be really interesting to work on that way, but it's, uh, it's a way. Uh, in the future, we cannot continue to, to pollute like that. So everywhere in all the big market, we need to find solution. And Renault uh, is proposing new solution to, to get a, a better world for our children. Fantastic. What's your best memory from Cannes, sorry, from Venice 2014? Uh, Venice is really interesting because everybody is asking me, why Venice? There is no car, it's uh, only yeah. boats and, nice boat. and river and nice boat. I said, no, uh, Venice Festival is on the Lido Island. So on the Lido, we have 10 kilometers of road, we have some cars, but we have electric car for Venice. It's, it's very interesting. Oh, that's nice. And your personal memory, I mean? My personal memories in Venice, uh, I, I met the composer, the Japanese Yuchi Sakamoto, you know, it's an incredible musician. And I think sometimes we can spend moment with an incredible personage. And uh, it's, uh, it's the reason I, I like my job because we, you meet every, every year incredible, not only celebrities, actor, actress, talent. Be, be talent. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very you. much and have a good uh, show. <laughs> Salon de l'Automobile is... is yes, yeah, the Mondial Paris Motor Show is starting uh, right. this week. Okay. Yeah. Good luck to Renault. Thank you. Thank you very much.